Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to take a look how we can monitor, troubleshoot or identify performance bottleneck of your power apps. So it's very general thing like uh, once the app is into live production and then after that you start getting some issues that uh, some users are not able to see or function something into a power app and some users are reporting that there are slowness in the loading of your screens. So how to troubleshoot those live apps? So of course, like the app which you are actually already building, you can go into make studio itself and try to like find out the root causes. But into the live apps, actually, we ha don't have that uh, liberty of like uh, troubleshooting or finding the root causes because it may be working on your end fine, but on the user's end, it may be like giving some problem. So let's see like how we can do that. So I'll just go to makepowerapps.com and we'll take help of power apps monitoring tool to understand like how your app is behaving so this i'll take an example of this search app which i've created into my last couple of videos and over here on these three dots i'll click on monitor so this will actually launch a monitoring area for your power app where you can see we have these options clear data upload download so these are nothing related to downloading and uploading your uh this json like whatever a trace json we are creating so but to start this monitoring tool we have to start by clicking on this play published app so this will actually play your app and then create the relevant or the related steps on this area on this monitoring area so if i just click on this play published app and i got my this search financial data screen and if i go to the search monitor you can see i have a lot of uh, trace is created with a category with the operation name and if you see on your top like you have these options where you can actually filter the source by detail or default and on this area properties if you click on that you will get the details around it so what details are there like how much time what is the response what is the status for this particular action so they, these these actions are divided into these categories so basically there are few actions which are just loading your connection. So there's a by default one connection, this connection. Then there is a performance action category, which actually says like how much time your app took to load. So it's uh, into milliseconds. So we are good over here as well. And there are a few things related to screen load. So these are the default screen load, which it does, but we can directly come onto our network. So network run, Network is a category and run is the operation. So over here in my power app, actually what I'm doing is on start itself, I'm checking the owner. I mean, the financial group membership, whether a logged in person is a member of financial group or not. So if not, then the no access screen would be served. Otherwise, this search screen would be served to him. And this is the SharePoint group where I was checking it. So let's go to the monitoring one and run. As I said, uh, told you earlier, earlier as well in, in one of the video that right now for checking any flow worked well or not, I have to like take, uh, go to the mate.powerautomate.com, then check for that flow and then check the runs. But in monitoring tool, I can directly see whether it ran or what response it gave. So for the live application, of course, you may not want to uh, go to the Power Automate to check all the responses. So over here in the monitoring, this action itself, I can go to this uh, request where you can see like uh, the request is being made to my this power automate trigger manual one and in the body I am passing the current logged in person to check whether this person belongs to financial group or not SharePoint group or not and then in the response in the body I am getting this response so my power automate used to return one of the output that is is member true so that means my power automate ran successfully so we are good with this step also if user is complaining that uh, he or she is not able to view this uh, search financial data screen so you have to check for this output and rather than like going into the power automate and doing the troubleshooting just this is the first step to have a look like whether that person that that response you are getting is valid or not is a member true or not so it will give you the all the operations to do a initial level of troubleshooting before going into a depth debugging. For example, if I go to this app on start, it gives me the 
how much time it took actually for, for the app start is milli in milliseconds and if you wish to like expand it you can see the details and formula as well so it, because and our and on app start we haven't have any formula binded so it's just a performance category operation not a function one so on function one we would able to see like what functions we are calling and how much time or how much uh, performance that function is giving and if i click on uh, the other one these are default one and let me do some other operations so i'll just find out or do a search on sub keyword and do selection and just searching and if i go to my monitoring tool and you would see like uh, the other set of action has been added on screen load let me scroll up so these are the sequential steps So uh, this is a user action, category user action. I have selected that input box to type in my search keyword, friends. And into this user action, it's setting up the property to that input as friends. And in the network category, it actually called one flow again, because in my, this part automate on selection or click of this function, uh, this uh, icon, glass icon, I'm calling another search financial flow. So that, trace is there that it's calling one of the flow that data source is search financial flow and in the request it's calling my flow and the text which is being passed as input is france and in the response i am getting body and this this is the entire json which i am getting out of my search flow or power automate so that output now in the separate category function is being added a added up into the collect so initially the collection would be just having uh, one row one row is collected and it keep on adding to the same collection as uh, we have written that formula into uh, post the return of the power automate happens so that's how you can actually trace everything into your application as a first step to troubleshoot any area like related to some errors because right now you see like uh, we have this result as success so if something filled up then we have this as failure so you can troubleshoot all these actions just you can trace all these actions and find a bottleneck area for you and this 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 is the thing which i've explained you just for like if you wish to like troubleshoot by yourself but many times it happens that everything works fine at your end but the other user and user is actually trying to load then it doesn't work in an expected way you can debug that area as well so if you want to like uh, debug with some other users then you can click on invite so you can invite people to this monitoring session and once the uh, monitor session is ended up by closing the tab then that person would uh, the invitation would automatically get, get closed so closing the observer will end all the session of participants so you can have you can invite other end user and then keep on that user keep on doing some action you would able to see all the traces on this monitoring tool and as well as you can connect to a user so connect user to this session start a session with the end user of this app to view the their session data everyone must have a user submit permission shared with them so again like if you wish to start a session so once it's invited once it's invited that user is invited then you can connect the session you can type in the user which you want to work with or you want to like uh, troubleshoot the session and then click on this area you can just copy this uh, shared link over here user session link and can share this link to this particular user and uh, by default like this link would expire into one hour you can see like the link expires in one hour so after one hour session it will be automatically gone so this is a, this is a very pretty nice way like if you want to troubleshoot with your end users to see like what he or she is facing problem so many times the developers say like it's working on their end perfectly fine but not on the, at the end user end so this is, a, this is the way where you can troubleshoot the end users uh, screen as well so as in first level of uh, troubleshooting this monitoring tool is really helpful and that's what i do uh, I, I try to like uh, debug and check the responses in that troubleshoot uh, in this monitoring tool first then actually go, go for the detailing troubleshooting. So this is, this is quite a video for today. 
and if you have any other question please feel free to do your comments and i'll try to answer that's it thank you